All right, guys, as promised, I'm back at the largest Christmas light display here on Marco Island, and I'm with Ron Spurring and his wife, Pam, they're inside, but I'm gonna put the link up top to the video we did on the how and why and the background and the history of this light display. But we're gonna do a quick walk around and Ron will tell us how the, how the, uh, how the display is going so far. We've got a month left before uh, this ends and I'm gonna put the address in the bottom if you'd like to make a donation to St. Jude Children's Hospital, which is where all the funds that they raise go to. Ron, what can you tell us about the tree? Uh, you know what? Actually, I traded someone a horse-drawn sleigh for that tree. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they deal in Christmas stuff, so uh, we just happened to strike a bargain. And if anybody is interested, Ron actually owns a sleigh restoration company. Ron, is this tree bigger than the one inside your house? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'd like to get it in the house, but no, it's 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 a little bigger than the one in the house. Does Pam draw ever draw the line? Fortunately, she hasn't. She's in 45 years. She hasn't drawn a line. <laughs> Ron, I'm going to call this a waterfall display. Is that what you'd call it? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be snow. Okay. But, <laughs> <laughs> so. But I'm in, but I'm yeah. in Marco Island. So yeah, I'm, well, <laughs> I guess I got to get the right mindset. <laughs> yeah. That was really stupid of Tom, wasn't it? Okay, so <laughs> so we're going to call this a snowfall display. There you go. Yeah, and I can see okay. the snow piling up on the ground. Yes, there it is. And right. Santa's skiing, and uh... oh, this is beautiful. I, I can see the butterflies and the tree, uh, and of course the large sign saying that everything goes towards St. Jude Children's Hospital. Now I saw over by the uh, mailbox that you've got a sign saying, last year I believe it was $15,007. Yes. So yes. you don't round it off. We go right down to the T so everybody knows where their yeah, donations right, right have gone. Right to where it is, yep. And yep. was it the year before, was it about 12,000 in that neighborhood? About 12,000, yeah. About 12,000, yeah. so that's, yeah. that's, now can you reveal, have you counted how much you've gotten so far this year? Well, actually, in the four days since Thanksgiving, I think we're about 3,500. Wow. So, think, you know, last year, Heathwood was detoured. The street here was That's shut correct. down. It was under construction. So, so, you know, I'm pretty optimistic for bigger crowds this, this year. This is the new display this year, and uh, this is the Disney Castle. Yes. With a moat right behind the front wall. That's right, an imaginary moat. An imaginary moat. <laughs> <laughs> no snow and no water, right? Yeah. And of course the nativity scene. Can you tell me about the nativity scene? I've had that for about 25 years. I think I bought it at an auction somewhere or whatever. And uh, Would that uh, have been like maybe from a church or something you think it came I from? I think it was originally, yeah. Like a church this place? Yeah. And do you yeah. know offhand, how many stars do you have on the roof? 35, I think. 35, okay. Yeah. That's going to be trivia for next time. Yeah. The Grinch is up there, unfortunately, but I don't think he's got a chance here. Hey, Ron, there's the locomotive that you built. Yes. How many years ago did you build that? 30 years ago. 30 years. I built that, yep. Still looks like it can run today. Actually, you... I'm improving the electric on Wednesday, but the wheels will turn. They are motorized, but I don't want to push the electric requirements for now. So, But next time you're here, they'll be turning. Wow. And I don't want to date you, but you did tell me a little story the other day about... Your inside display, you put together quite a train display, and those are the trains that your father gave you. Yes, and he bought them when I was two months old. And my mom said, really? And he said, oh, he needs trains. <laughs> so, can I ask what year that would have been? 51. 1951, he's got train sets. For... Now, what gauge was that? S gauge, they're American Flyer. Wow. Yeah. There's six elves in there tonight, correct? Yes. To find, and the elves yes. are about a foot tall, so try to find the elves when you come see the display, and if there's more than six, Ron will have a sign out here. Is that right, Ron? Yes, if I, and I, my wife's telling me I should buy more, so there may be 12 elves out here <laughs> at some point, but I'll, the, the correct number will be listed out on a sign. Well, that's just the Frozen, the Disney movie Frozen, yes. the characters from that. I bet the kids love this one. Yeah. This one doesn't fold, it doesn't, uh, pack up easy nope. this has got to be a tough one to store but this is the snowman bench 
Yes. And you said that this one ends up in a lot of Christmas cards. Yes, yes. On a busy night, people would be lined up, getting their family there get to get pictures taken. Yeah. So everybody, make sure that when you come and you sign the guest book, that you go ahead and take your picture on the snowman bench right next to it. So behind me is the registration desk. Make sure that if you come see the display, you go ahead and tell us where you're from and who you are and uh, something about your family. There's a mailbox there that you can probably see right to Ron's right shoulder. And uh, that's where you can drop off letters to Santa. They'll make sure that those get delivered. And if you have any coloring book pages of Christmas scenes that you want to drop off so Santa can see those as well, and that's another thing. Yes, and also the donations to St. Jude. And the donations to St. Jude. Very and checks are fine. Checks are fine, and you'd yes. make those out, pay to, to the order of St. Jude, Jude yes. Children's Hospital. Yes. And they'll make sure that those get there. And again, yep. literally, all 100% of the donations go straight to St. Jude. Ron, I can't thank you enough for letting me interrupt your life over the last week and kind of learn about this. I hope everybody else has enjoyed that. I know the community has enjoyed it, that have seen these so far. Is there anything you and Pam would like to say to... Uh, to uh, the community this year. Well, you know, Merry Christmas to everyone. We, we do this for you. Thank you for your generosity with, uh, with the thing to St. Jude. And also thanks to our neighbors for their patience and tolerance. Absolutely. They, it, they put up with all of it and they, you know, they, they say they like it and they support it. And, you know, that, I couldn't do it without their blessing. Yeah, with their blessing, definitely. So, well, Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry and, Christmas. And if you found this video interesting or informative, please do me a favor, hit the like button, and we'll see you soon.